Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I just woke up and I wanted to film this video on how I style my short hair and curtain bangs. So I thought I'd just do like a real time styling session with you guys. So I'm going to, I have a mask in my hair. I slept in it overnight and I'm going to wash it right now and share with you what products I use to help with like, I have like coarse, damaged, kind of brittly, thick, blonde hair, um, if that helps. But yeah, I thought I'd do a little bit of a, a style, how I style my curtain bangs and short to be 2A, 2B hair with you guys. So let's get into it. dry it's very very dry um just a little tiny bit of dampness i can kind of feel it but barely and even be two or three strands um but this is how my hair kind of dries naturally with just those products in it and i was outside so it gets a bit poofy i don't love how it like does that little thing at the end a little poof poof i don't style my hair i let my hair air dry um just because i haven't really learned how to use the hair dryer on it and I just am lazy and my hair is very thick so I just can't be bothered spending that much time on my hair <laughs> so I just let it air dry one day I would love to get a Dyson air wrap for my hair because I've seen how it styles like the perfect blowout bangs but for now I just use my straightener this is the muck straightener and I like it because it has the curl curved edges so I feel like it gives a really nice like curl um and i've been using this for years and i really really like it so because my hair is a little bit puffy at the bottom i'm just going to put a little bit more bread oil in i just put this around the bottoms um to kind of like tame the tame the frizz and the fluff you know so just work that through just kind of grab it into a ponytail and work it in it has honestly the most incredible scent. Oh my gosh, it smells like like a lip smacker from like I used to have when maybe I was like eight or nine. Oh my gosh, brings me back. So now because my hair is so thick, I'm going to separate it to try and pin all the bangs and front pieces back up into a little like half up so that I can start working on the little underneath bits. I just like to take a clip and kind of just, that looks crazy, but that's, that's what I do. So because my hair is naturally curly, um, I just like to take like, I don't do every single strand because I feel like the way that my hair is, like some are really nice curls, some are a bit more frizzy, so I just like to take the frizzy bits and go over them with this, um, with the straightener to give it a little bit of curl, but I seriously do not curl every single one just because I think they blend in better, like it looks way more natural if it's just like in with my natural curls. It just kind of like enhances the natural curls, gets rid of all the real frizzy ones. So as you can see, I just 
On this side, I take it and I kind of curl out and down. I don't know if this is a way for my face. This is just like the natural way that I do it. It just feels, I don't know, <laughs> feels natural. I'm just doing the back. My hair is very coarse and it takes a bit of curl, but once it gets a curl, it holds it for quite a few days. Now on this side, I curl away. So I'll pull away from my face. I actually really like how my curls have turned out today. Every day is different, you know, curlier girls will know. Wavy hair girls will know. Some days my hair is beautiful ringlets and the other days it's a frizzy mess. And I think it has to do with a lot of different things like hormones and the weather, the environment, the products, different shampoos, different conditioners, all that stuff. I love the shampoo and conditioners I'm using at the moment. The EVU ones are amazing, but I definitely I'm open to trying different ones and if you watched any of my curly girl videos, curly hair videos, you know that I don't follow the curly girl method to a T. I just like to do whatever works for my hair. Especially the underneath bits, I don't really super worry about. Um, because honestly they won't really be seen because my hair is so thick. So I'm just taking more hair out. There's a lot of pieces in this middle section that I actually really like the curl of naturally. I feel like they fall really nice. I don't know if I said before, but my hair is kind of like coarse 2A, 2B, 2C. I have like all of those in my hair. So yeah, that's my hair. I'm going to finish this, um, this layer off camera and then I'll come back um, when I'm doing the final layer. Okay, I'm onto my final, like my top layer. <laughs> they look a bit crazy now for being up. These are also my side fringes like again very very crazy so i'm just going to fix up the top and then i'll get started on styling my fringe <laughs> Oh gosh, you guys, I'm so sorry about the lighting before. I've moved you into some better lighting, so hopefully you can see my hair better now. So I'm gonna do a little 360 of my hair, just the body of my hair without the fringe done, so. And yeah. Just very bouncy, beachy, voluminous, kind of natural looking waves, but also like, yeah. I think it looks really cute. This will last me for like five days, four days. Um, and I really just think this looks really like natural for me and it suits my, my look. Okay, but the part you've all been waiting for is the fringe or the bangs. So this is how I style my bangs. I It starts from actually the very beginning step of putting them in those clips or at least tucking them behind my ear. I think that gives the perfect swoopiness um to have a good like base because i have done where i just left it and not swooped it not put it in those clips and it just ends up being crazy and not easy to style at all so from drying from wet i put it like that so it creates a very nice base for the bangs so i'll take the end bits so the, the little, the front middle bit, I'll leave that and take the end. And what I'll do is I'll take the straightener and kind of curl it back. A nice, yeah, like a voluminous wave. 
um, and it will just easily go into the rest of the curls and I think it looks super natural. Then I'll take the front little bit and just go like this and then flick at the end. <laughs> it kind of looks crazy. <laughs> I'll do that again too. I'll show you guys how I do it again. So up and then down. I do that little flick because I think it gives a nice little, I don't know why, but I really like the cowlick kind of look. Like it gives a voluminous little lift to the bangs. And yeah, then they always look a bit crazy and I usually have to do them a couple times. So I'll just tuck that behind my ear because by tucking it, it gives like the perfect sweep. So I'll try that again on this side. So I'll take those bits and these ones, this side never likes to do it, but I think that looks all right. Then we'll take the front little bits, go whoop, and then I flick out. See how it gives like that just like little voluminous flick? I always do this too, like I, I pinch the middle. Maybe I'll take these little ones. <laughs> It's, I swear it looks crazy at the beginning, but then you just, they fall into place really, really nicely throughout the day. Um, you just got to give that little voluminous flick. I think I like that. I'm going to go look in the mirror. It's really hard to do on the speed finder. So let me go see. Honestly, I love it. I think... It's not perfect. They all always turn out a little bit, you know, different every single time. I often do this throughout the day just to like give it a little bit of something, something, mess it up, you know. Like I said, if you ever feel like they're kind of like going weird, just tuck them behind your ears and then it gives them that sweep. But I really like them more in the center, like less on the side i also think they look just adorable tied up so yeah that is the look so yes that's the look that's how i style my short little bob and my curtain bangs. Um, that's how I get the volume and the little shaggy kind of the vibe. I really am liking it so much. I think it's super easy and I also, it's not very time consuming and you don't need to have a blow dryer or anything fancy. Like I said, I am saving up for hopefully a Dyson. Um, I really, really would love one. So if I get one, I'll definitely do a video on how I style with a Dyson, but not everyone has a Dyson and I think this is a great way to style your bangs if you just have a straightener or a curl or whatever. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you like my new short hair and like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.